Hello everyone, it's Sandra from AbundanceOfBliss.com. I am doing this video for you today because I have discovered a sexy way to make the whole process of creating your emails in your GetResponse account a lot simpler and to save you hours and hours and hours of time thereby helping you build your email list without having the worry of what to put in your emails. Misty and I have partnered up to offer our team members some extra special training to help our team members and contribute to their continuing success. Have you, I know the fact that you're here, that you've been struggling to create converting emails. We've all had that trouble in the past and you're probably struggling to get leads from those emails. In our home-based business, we share information and we have a great team effort where we help each other create shortcuts and, and we share our tips and tricks. We share the same wealth of knowledge and encourage each other. We're always taught in our training that if we have trouble writing emails, to opt into one of the leaders' email to get an idea of what they've written and to copy it and make it our own. Now before I show you this, I'm not showing you this to um, give you permission to go in and copy and use anyone's email as that is not good ethical standard business practice. What I am saying is that you can go into any campaign and use the emails as your own by personalizing them and tweaking and making changes here and there. But you will have the basis of the emails in front of you. So with that being said, I'm going to start with Outlook Express. I discovered that Outlook Express is the only email provider that shows me the information that I need to get into the email campaigns that I need to copy. So I'm going to use this as an example only. We are going to, you will notice this information under the title. There's a little extra blurb here that shows you where the email is coming from. The group of words in front of the at sign is the actual name of the campaign. Now I found this out quite by accident because when I was setting up my campaign list inside GetResponse, I was under the misguided impression that no matter what I called it, no one would see it. Well, much to my surprise, when I emailed myself a copy of my first campaign, um, I noticed in front of my eyes it said January Nanny at GetResponse.com. Now I had joined this business in a the month of January 2015 and I my grandmother had also died in January so I felt a particular connection to her and chose that name but did not think anyone would see it anyways the, hence the lesson for the day call your campaign name something you don't mind other people seeing because they do have access to the name of your campaign okay that being said uh, my computer is going to make me copy this whole line, so I'll just copy it. But you only need the actual campaign name. Then you're going to go into your get response, and you are going to create a new campaign to put these new emails in so that once you've got them all personalized, you will be able to transfer them over to the campaign that you actually want to use. So I'm going to call this Sexy Test. I'm going to do it twice in case there's already a campaign name with that. Great campaign. The next thing I'm going to do is go into Messages, Preload. Now, inside here, it's very important you follow these steps so that you do not lose the emails you already have in your autoresponders. First of all, you're going to click this link that says change source account. I am going to paste the name in here and I'm going to take off the at getresponse.com. All you need is the campaign name. You don't need a password because we're not logging into their account, we're logging into the campaign. Then you're going to click login. 
yes, I want to continue because I know that all the work I had previously there was already saved. Now that we are here, this has loaded all of the emails in that campaign that I loaded. Next step is to pick your destination campaign. We just created uh, sexy test, sexy test, sexy test. There we go. Okay. As you can see, in my destination campaign, there are no messages. This is the campaign I want to copy. So I'll make sure this says autoresponder and this says autoresponder because there is another option that you can also click newsletter. And if there's any newsletters in that particular campaign, all those will pop up too. For instance, all these newsletters popped up. But for now, we're just focusing on the campaign, but at least you know you can do that, the autoresponder. So now, so if you had clicked newsletter, then you would put newsletter draft here, and then all those newsletters would appear in your draft newsletter link inside GetResponse. But we are focusing on the autoresponder at the moment. Next thing you're going to do is copy all. You can see that the whole list of autoresponder emails has now been copied into my account. Into the test account as autoresponder. So now I'm going to save this. Being a little slow. There we go. So now we're going to test what we've done here. I'm going to go into my manage autoresponders. And I'm, oh, the sexy test, we're here, and here's all the emails. Now, I also want to um, say I didn't pick on anyone in particular. You ju I just showed as an example one of the emails that um, I subscribe to, the list. So now the benefit you have is that you do not have to wait for weeks and months to have to um, get the emails coming in to copy and paste each email to go into your emails. You can get them all at once in one sitting and you can also do that with the newsletters too but again never copy word for word it's just not good business practice this is being given to you as an opportunity to make this job a lot easier uh, so that you can personalize your emails and get to work a lot faster and not have to worry about writing your own emails it's always best that you do eventually when you see these emails and you get um, used to reading them and formatting them and changing them. After time, you will be able to create your own emails based on what you've been learning. You will look at them and you say, hmm, I think I'm going to change that or I'm going to try this or that. And, and of course, that, that is the end goal. So I hope you got a ton of value from this video that I've done for you today. I intend to do more. Um, so have a great day. I'm glad to have taught this to you. And if you have any further questions, um, I always have my contact information close by any of my videos and my blog is uh, abundancesbliss.com and Misty and I will be bringing you much more training to help our teams. Talk to you soon.